This phone is going to be assembled in the United States. That's part of the, the story about this, but it won't be made in the United States. Explain to me the distinction. So for any product to be made in the United States, every component has to be sourced from the US. Now we're sourcing from about 16 states, but mobile devices source from companies that are located all around the world, screens from Korea, chips from Taiwan. So it is assembled in the United States, meaning that 70% of the products are actually put together, assembled in a uh, manufacturing facility in Texas that employs about 2,000 people. And one of the reasons we're doing that is the phone is completely customizable by the user. So this phone is actually made out of teak. And you can order By, by the way, that's, that's real teak. This is real teak. This is real wood. Uh, and if you think about phones, people are looking to phones as a fashion statement. Right. And we've only been able to really buy phones in black or white. So we're giving the consumer more choice. And as a side benefit, a lot of consumers in the US would actually like to choose to buy a product that's made here. But made here, here's the thing. Aren't the high value jobs, um, they're not here. They've been exported to low wage markets, except for the actually creating in California. Well, first place, there's a lot of uh, mechanical design, supply chain work that's going on in Texas. Those are high value jobs. And high paid jobs. And high paid jobs. And in fact, in America, there's a resurgence in high end manufacturing. We have a shortage of people who can actually run the, the sophisticated computer things because we're not educating enough. We've got a great American manufacturing story for high end jobs here. I, I want to touch on that a little bit because we, you've, you've spoken before, we've spoken before about K through 12 education, how this is a real Achilles heel for the United States right now, especially when we have 12 million people out of work. And then you've got 14.3% uh, who are underemployed. And then you've got CEOs, especially in technology companies saying, I can't find the workers I need to, how do we bridge that gap in the short term? The core problem in America is the educational system still not producing quite the right people. There's plenty of jobs for sophisticated manufacturing, people who have some kind of technical training, either some form of vocational training that's high end, learning how to run numerical controlled you know, milling machines, these sorts of things. They're all in short supply. The American renaissance in manufacturing, in oil and gas production, in energy, in technology is being held back by the lack of Americans who can do this. The way you fix this is by fixing education. More competition, more choices, more access to the internet and so forth.